Hey everybody, I'm Dougie. I'm Rose. And welcome back to Collecting Together. Uh, today we have a haul video. Uh, I think four of them uh, came in the mail. And the rest we uh, went and picked up in town. Uh, some, some good ones. Found some stuff I didn't think we'd see out in the <laughs> wild, which is pretty nice. Yeah. Um, but, yeah. Alright, so this first one we have for you guys is from DC, and it's the Penguin Imposter. There are so many of these imposters. Yeah. It's just like the, the Batmans in general. Like... Yeah, good luck getting all of those. There's just so many of them that it makes it like hard to want to collect them. Yeah. But what's weird there, is... There hmm. are some cool ones out there though. What's weird about these imposters, I think we have uh, the Harley Quinn ones and mm -hmm. a Poison Ivy. Yeah. And when I saw them, like, I really didn't like understand them, I guess, or I didn't mm -hmm. like them all that much, but now they've, they've really grown on me. Like, I like these imposter ones. Yeah. Like, this one's pretty cool. I like it, because he's got a little tuxedo. Yeah. And a little monocle. Yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm starting to like these imposter Batmans. Yeah. I like finding them when they're not too crazy expensive. Yeah, they, these ones aren't that expensive. Like Some if you go look like Sometimes a, they are, but other places, uh, best places to check are like buy-sell trades. Yeah. Because they're more realistic prices. This next one is the Scarecrow Imposter. And he looks pretty good, I think. Yeah. I do think that they do a really good job with these imposters, though. Like, I wouldn't mind getting the whole whole line of them. Yeah, I really want to get a, the Riddler one. Yeah. I think out of all the animated villains and stuff like that, I think I like the Riddler the best. I don't know. Yeah. The Riddler? Yeah. Hmm. You know, I actually kind of liked Jim Carrey as the Riddler. Yeah. I liked uh, I liked Batman Forever. That was the first one I ever like really like sat down and watched movie wise. I think I watched all of them, but it's still like the first one I really remember yeah. really well. <clears throat> so this next one we have is the Two Face Imposter. Um, I actually saw him when we were up in town today too, and they wanted more than what hmm. what he's actually worth, like twice as much. Jeez. Yeah, most of these aren't ex most places don't want a whole lot for them. Yeah. I think we have, uh, <clears throat> we almost have, like, what, five of these ones now? Five of these imposters? Yeah, six. We've got three here, and then we've got the two Harley Quinn. And the Poison Ivy. Yeah. So, six of them, though? This is a cool, yeah. a cool pop. I yeah. like it. I really like how they did these ones. I wonder how what, like... What made them think to make these imposter pops? I don't know. <clears throat> so, this next one we have is Batman, and it's an Entertainment Earth exclusive. Is it just supposed to be from the comic? Or? I think so. It doesn't look... No, I, uh, I guess they just did different the colors. The colorful ones. A lot of colors. I mean, if they're around the same price... I would like to get them, but if they're not, then... I'm sure, uh, you know, specific colors are more pricey now. Mm. Then... Yeah. <clears throat> so this next one, we got into ta in town, and I was super, super happy to find this one. Uh, it's from the classic Batman, and it surfs up Batman. <clears throat> there is a... Surf's Up Joker too, and then there's a two pack. Is that Surf Up? Uh, <clears throat> Surf's Up Joker. Is that the only one you're missing now? Uh, the two pack. You know, on the two pack. I think so. I think it was yeah. a very short line for these ones. I wonder if that's really uh, Adam West and Cesar Romero on that surfboard. I think so. Hmm. Because they did a lot of green screen. Oh yeah, I guess it could have been green screen. Yeah, I'd be surprised if it wasn't. Hmm. It's just funny because 
Um, as you can see in the background, like with them on the surfboards, they're wearing their costumes and then trunks oh, over. Oh yeah, I didn't even notice that. Huh. And it's the same thing with him too. Yeah. And he's got the utility belt over the trunks. You never know if there's gonna be a shark attack. Yeah, I think there was a shark in that episode too. I think it was in the movie where he's like on the the bat copter and then he's like hanging off a like a oh. fire ladder. I don't know. It could have been in the, in the movie too, and a certain episode. I don't yeah. know. There were so many of those episodes too. <clears throat> so this next one we actually got online, and that is Sonic with the Emerald. He is our first Sonic. Yeah. You know, I was actually thinking about Sonic the Hedgehog today. And as much as I like Sonic, I think I've only played, like, through two of the games. Mm. And I've played a little I bit think of... I you've played through three of them. Yeah, like, I don't really remember, like, all that much Sonic, you know? Mm. I just remember playing the same, the same two all the time. I think the one that I played the most was Sonic and Knuckles. But he looks pretty good. Yeah. He looks like Sonic. Not the Steve Urkel Sonic. Hopefully we can get uh, some more Sonic ones. Yeah. I'd like to see Knuckles. I hope. Yeah, that'd be good. And Amy. And uh, Tails. I should make all of them. Yeah. So this next one's from Doctor Strange. It's one of the ones... Uh, it, we got it from a buy-sell trade. And I was super excited because... They only wanted like three dollars for her. Hmm. I think she's going for like seven, eight dollars. That's cool. So, no, I, I kind of like the movie. I didn't like Doctor Strange in the actual movie. Like the character or the actor? The character. He uh. just seems pretty narcissistic. Hmm. I haven't seen it yet. Yeah. So I don't, I don't know anything aside from he has the time stone, right? Yeah, um, he's just protecting it at that point. Yeah. Hmm. Finally a female that doesn't need a <laughs> stand. <laughs> That's so strange. But, no, um, a lot of people got upset when it was announced that they were having her be a woman instead of, like, um, Was it originally a guy? Yeah. Mm. An Asian guy. But they made her a Celtic woman instead. Hmm. I mean, they changed the character, so it's... I didn't think that it was that big of a deal. No, I haven't Because seen it, it wasn't, so. like, a white guy trying to portray an Asian, like, they're always doing. They just change the character to something like complete opposite pretty much. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so this next one is another Doctor Strange and it is Kel... Caecilius? Mm -hmm. Caecilius. And he's actually a villain. Hmm. Not the big bad or anything, but he is a... You should try to find Doctor Strange. <clears throat> yeah, I haven't... We haven't come across them, oddly enough. There's, like, so many, like, versions. It's all glittery. <laughs> yeah. Eyes. Yeah, and... On the box, it even shows, like, four different versions of him. There's... Yeah. So. And we have one more from Doctor Strange, and it's Carl Mordu. Um, he's in the entire movie. Yeah, what's he do? Um, he's another wizard, but it, as soon as he realizes what was actually going on, mm -hmm. he just didn't want to have anything more to do with it. So they're just wizards? Yeah, it's more magic based <laughs> than a lot of the movies. He's actually 
actually a pretty interesting character, though. At least I think so. <clears throat> so this next one, Ducky got excited to find. And it is the Yellow Ranger. It was another one where they wanted either just under or just about the same price. Yeah, I think it was like six bucks. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah, I'm just <clears throat> pretty happy for this thing. Like, I wanna, I wanna start getting these rangers with the helmets on. Yeah. Cause we don't have, we don't have any of them for the series. Well, now we do. Yeah. So hopefully we can start collecting those, and then like, I think they even have like the, the zords, some of the zords now. Really? Yeah. As pop rides? Uh, I think they're just like <laughs> six inch pops. Oh, that's interesting. I wonder why they didn't make them pop rides. Those would translate mm -hmm. pretty well. But, uh, yeah, happy for that one. So this next one is another chase that we finally got. I think uh, we're up to four? Are we? I think so. And it is Stimpy from the Firehouse Dog episode. Or episodes. I think there were like two of them. Just one. I think there was one in the regular cartoon and then one in the adult party. One. Hmm. Yeah, I was happy for this thing. I love Vernon Stimpy. <laughs> yeah, they did a good job with it. I mean... It, <laughs> His butt. It's always weird to see a butt on and them. And hair too. <laughs> yeah, hopefully we can... I think we need a... There's like a Chase Wren. But he's the just like black and white or something. And I think then, it's uh, supposed to be another firehouse dog one. I don't, I don't think so. He's just like black and white or I don't know, maybe. Maybe he's... But, uh, and then the regular Stimpy. Hmm. Hopefully we can find that one. Not too expensive. So we got excited when we found this one. Or, I think it was one of our online ones. Mm -hmm. But it's one of our Nicktoons. And it's Norbert. Yeah. His nose is so big, though. Like, his nose is big in the show, but... Yeah, it's like pressed right up against the... Yeah. It's pretty heavy, too. Oh, yeah. I dropped it on my foot earlier. It didn't feel good. <laughs> yeah, I was happy to get this pop, but I don't... This is like one of those Nicktoons that... You're just not that familiar yeah, with. Yeah, I, I don't watch any of this show. But man, this is actually a pretty big pop. Yeah, they fit. Fit. Sometimes the pops are so big that it's just like, why didn't you make it like a six inch? And the weird thing is, is like, you know, it's a beaver. It's supposed to be like a small animal. Yeah. And it's like all huge, heavy. But, um. All right, so this next one, I got super excited fine. It's our first flocked, so it's exciting. And it's Norbert and Daggett. It was a FYE exclusive. Yeah. Yeah, it is our first flocked one. Yeah. This is actually a lot cheaper than what it's going for, but it's probably because the uh, same thing with the last one. It's no their noses are like almost ripping through the plastic. Yeah, I'm guessing something happened like and mailing or something because yeah. we got this at a buy sell trade yeah the box is in very good condition but i think it's just because their noses so so much huh. they feel pretty nice yeah we've they never feel... we've never even touched one of the flocked ones yeah, before they feel kind of weird like a velvety kind of yeah. fabric but yeah. So, if you've never felt one, um, that's what it feels like. And it's, the plastic on it is super hard, too. Like, these are pretty heavy. Oh. Dag is not too much. Your Norbert's just super heavy. Yeah. As you can see, the colors are a little bit different. Even their noses. Yeah. But that is what the flocked ones look like out of the box. Hmm. Cool. 
So we have one more for you guys and really excited about this one. It's from Guardians of the Galaxy and it is a six inch Thanos and it's a glow in the dark entertainment earth exclusive. So yeah. I don't, I don't know if this one's like selling out quick because I know it's kind of recent, but um, like when I ordered it, it said like there's like two or three left maybe, yeah. and then like after I put it in the cart and checked out, it was like sold out, so. Yeah, I think they go pretty quick. Yeah. But no, we were super, super excited to find this one. Yeah, it's, it's cool pop. It's from Guardians, because uh, the last Thanos was, uh, the last Thanos was that Infinity War, so. Yeah. Man, he's pretty big. And he's a bobblehead. <laughs> <laughs> Looks good. And hmm. I'll bow down before Thanos. Yeah. <laughs> Evil minion beavers. <laughs> Yeah, it's a pretty good haul. So we got some cool stuff today. Yeah. I'm happy with everything that we found. Yeah, I was really uh, excited for that Yellow Ranger, even though it was, like, cheap, you know? Yeah. It's... Not really sought after, but I'm really hoping I can finish getting the Rangers. Yeah, well, some of the ones that people get excited for are the ones that not everyone wants. All right. But I was really excited to find the... the... Flocked? Yeah. Because... We hadn't gotten any before, and they wanted a much lower price. But I'm pretty sure it was just the damage the box. Yeah. This Thanos is really cool, too. Yeah. Nice and big. So what is your favorite find? Uh, uh, well, I'm happy with the Yellow Ranger. And uh, I was happy to finally get a Sonic one. I've been thinking about... You know, Sonic. I think there's uh, another Sonic with a ring. And then a Super Sonic. So hopefully we can find those. Yeah. And then the Thanos is really cool. Yeah. We found really good ones this time. Oh, yeah. And then the, uh, the Stimpy. The Chase <laughs> Stimpy. Forgot about that guy. <laughs> yeah, hopefully we can get the regular Stimpy. That one's starting to get expensive, too. Yeah. I'm excited that we're finding some of the Chase ones. Yeah. I never thought we would, honestly. Yeah, I think we just like recently started finding Chase Pops. Yeah, I think it's just because other some people's collections are just getting so big. Yeah. That they trade them in so they can get ones that they really, really want. So we're just kind of lucking out. Could be. So some of my favorite ones are the two pack. The Ren and Stimpy. And then the Surf's Up Batman. The two-pack of uh, Norbert and Daggett? Uh-huh. And Surf's Up Batman? Yeah, I didn't think I'd ever find that one. Yeah. That's a cool Bob. I mean, it... Because when it first came out, they sold out so quick. So I didn't think we'd ever find it. Hmm. And then I was super, super excited about that Van else. Yeah. So. Yeah, it was a good haul. Yeah, hopefully we can find a, a few more of those imposter Batmans. Yeah, I really like those two. Yeah. So, all the ones you guys see here, which ones are your favorites? And uh, have you gotten any flopped ones before? Yeah. And also, uh, have you gotten this Thanos or the last one that was like a six inch? Or were they was it hard to come by, or did you? Like, go the day it went on sale. Or did you come across the 10-inch Thanos? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, well, I guess that's going to do it for us. Thanks for stopping by and hanging out with us. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye.